Hey everyone, and welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards, and I'm here to demonstrate herbed mushrooms with polenta. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. This recipe comes from Polenti by Yodam Ottolenghi. Now I want you to look at it as two pieces, the mushrooms and the polenta. The mushroom part can be used for other purposes like the polenta torta, or served over cheese ravioli, or maybe some other pasta. We'll start with chopping fresh tarragon and measuring freshly dried thyme. Then measure your truffle oil. That's right, my friends, you can finally use that little bottle you bought ages ago. Guys, why don't we use this stuff more often? It is so good, right? Now we'll chop our cleaned mushrooms. Any kind will do. I'm using chanterelle, cremini, and rehydrated porcini. Now save that soaking liquid. I have some ideas for you. Heat half the olive oil in a hot pan and add half the mushrooms with the thickest pieces sticking to the bottom of the pan to give a good sear and then put your thinner pieces on top. When they're cooked through, remove that batch from the pan and do the same with the second half of the oil and the mushrooms. When those are finished, turn off the heat and add the first batch back to the pan and add those herbs and truffle oil with some salt and pepper. Stir it all together, cover it to keep it warm, and set it aside. Now for the polenta. Start with boiling liquid. I'm using water, chicken stock, and some of the porcini soaking liquid. Add the polenta a little at a time. If it clumps, use a whisk. Now this is a very traditional polenta, so I'm gonna stand here and stir for 40 plus minutes. But on the blog, I'll tell you about a quick cook polenta that I love. We're gonna go for a specific texture with this polenta. We want it thick and not too runny because it's not going into a structured serving dish with sides, so I don't want it to just completely spread out too thin. But in general, if you want it thin, you can stop cooking it earlier. Now see here, it's not quite ready. It's spreading off the spatula, it's too thin. So I'll keep cooking it until it pulls away from the sides of the pot. Now this is better. I'll add cheese and butter and cook a little more. Now it's pulling away from the sides. This is how we want it. We'll spread it onto a platter and place slices of cheese on top. The recipe calls for telegio, which I couldn't find, so I'm using fontina instead. And the recipe also calls for putting this under the broiler, but I want to serve this on a wooden platter, as you can see, so I'm using a tiny torch instead. And now we'll top all this with the mushrooms, and you'll either go back into the broiler or torch the mushrooms <laughs> to warm them up. Either way, you're done. This is a small serving. It can serve maybe four people for an appetizer or just two people for dinner, but it's really different and it's really tasty. So go to the blog for the info on the quick cook polenta, say that five times fast, and the full recipe. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion, and click on my photo to subscribe to this channel. Click on the recommended video for more recipe demonstrations just like this. Thanks for watching, everybody.